Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. Here to do your secret message, insight to your secret message. So I have the Barbary Tarot uh, Oracle here. I'm going to shuffle these, see what sign Spirit will pick to see who the collective may be dealing with the most. Some of you may be dealing with the sign. Some of you may not be, and that's fine. If you're not dealing with this sign that comes out, still watch because this message may still be for you. And I'm feeling this one right here. So let's see. Sagittarius, fire sign, fire in earth. So some of you may be dealing with the Sagittarius. If you're not, that is fine. Like I said, Please still continue to watch. This message still may be for you. Don't think because you're not dealing with the Sagittarius, you can't watch it. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're a cross watcher watching for a Capricorn, this message may actually be for you. Or it can be about the person you're watching for, vice versa. So cross watchers are welcome. This is a reading for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. So please keep that in mind. If any point you're watching this it does not resonate, then it may not be for you. You can check your moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign, Jupiter sign. It may resonate more with those signs, which I do have those readings on my page. You scroll through my videos, find you can find any of those signs, readings, for those. Okay, so we're going to get a message here from the Oracle deck. And this is the spirit messages. Any information, if you're looking for the names of these decks I'm using, they are in the description box below. Information about personal readings, donations, all other information is below. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Okay, spirit, can we have Capricorns? Secret message. Oh boy. Okay, so not taking that one. We got one here and one here. Okay, spirit. Which one do you want me to use? Okay, I'm thinking this one right here. So we have just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. So some of you may be going through some difficult times right now uh, in your life, or maybe you've lost your way, lost your faith. And this is the divine spirit telling you that maybe you need to reconnect with your faith, your spirituality. Ask and pray for help, guidance. So let's see. This is the Shadowscapes Tarot. And we're going to clarify the F for the sign of Capricorn. Keep in mind these energies that may come forward may be an energy of something that's already happened in your life, something you're going through now, or something that may happen in the future. So if it's not resonating now you can come back in a few months six months even a year rewatch it and it may resonate then so please keep that in mind you could also have Sagittarius in your chart okay so let's clarify for Capricorn what is this just ask about it's either asking for help from others around you or asking for divine assistance, help, guidance, meditating, meditating, praying for help, guidance. So let's see what the tarot has to say here. Can I have a few cards, please? There we go. See, ask and you shall receive. So we have the two of wands and the king of cups. So the two of wands is about making a decision, a choice in what direction you want to go to in life. You have two options here and you're deciding which option may be best for you. 
maybe you need a, need to ask for guidance and assistance in some way, whether it's consulting with professionals or something of that nature to help you decide what path you should take in your life, whether it's a career change, whether it's just uh, a move, um, whether or not you're seeking relationship help. And you have the King of Cups here. So the King of Cups is someone who, <coughs> excuse me, is loving, is secure, stable, in tune with their emotions. They may not vocalize their emotions and their feelings all the time. They may not wear their heart on their sleeve, but they may show you in different ways how they feel. So the two wands is fire. So that's Leo Sag Aries. We have Sag here. King of Cups is water. So that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So some of you may be definitely dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. So let's get more clarity on what's going on here. Maybe you're going to be asking for help from a water sign. It says king, but it doesn't have to be male. It can be male or female. It's just energy of a water sign, someone who's loving, caring, nurturing. But they may not always speak their love and emotions all wear their heart on their sleeve. So let's see. We have a few more cards here for the sign of Capricorn. Maybe you're trying to make a decision here to go towards a water sign. Maybe you, you could have Sagittarius in your chart. So maybe you're deciding whether or not to go towards trying to make that decision to go towards a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, there we go. So then we have the Nine of Swords. So this is stress, anxiety. Now this is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is Nine of Swords, is worry, anxiety, stress. You know, something that's constantly on your mind, nervous energy, um, staying up all night, thinking about something. It's like you, you can't get it off your mind. Um, so you're just stressing over something about a decision you have to make, either to go towards a water sign. So if you look at these two cards, they're both facing this King of Cups. So let's see here for the sign of Capricorn. Maybe you just need to ask this Cancer Scorpio person how they really feel to get clarity on the situation. Maybe you just ask. Maybe you just need to ask them, hey, what's going on here between us? That's too many. I have a few more cards here, please, for the sign of Capricorn. Let's clarify. I'm thinking that one. Page of Pentacles. Now this is Earth. Now this could be you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Page of Pentacles. That is a message and offer. It's stable. It's secure. It's well grounded. Somebody that will be honest and true and in it for the long haul coming forward with an offer, a message of some kind. So that could be you just asking this person what's going on, because here's the message. Somebody that wants to commit to this water sign, wants to be in it for the long haul, to bring stability, security. Okay. Let's see. And it's right under the two of wands. So I definitely feel this is your energy of making that decision of what the next step is going to be and coming forward with that message. To a water sign, perhaps, that you're stressing over. 
the outcome, stressing over what's going to happen. What's this person going to do? What's their decision going to be? Maybe they weren't speaking you, speaking to you for a time. Or really not coming forward or speaking the truth. Well, let's check. Let me just want a couple. For the sign of Capricorn. Let's clarify with a few more cards. Spirit, please. That's too many. I don't take clumps. I take maybe three at the most. So yeah, I usually take flyers. If it takes too long to shuffle, then I'll just draw a few. Spirit, please. For the sign of Capricorn. Yeah, let's come on. There we go. So now we have the Ace of Wands. Now this is fire energy. So some of you could be dealing, could be a few messages here for different people, either dealing with the Sag, maybe some dealing with the water sign. But it, either way, this is a brand new beginning. It's the Ace of Wands. It's passionate. It's uh, creative. It's um, a lot of growth and expansion, excitement, new ideas. So somebody definitely here, and maybe that's you coming forward to this earth, to this water sign, wanting this brand new beginning with them, because here's your offer with the message, but you still got stress and anxiety, but you're trying to make that decision whether to come forward here with the brand new beginning, starting over or coming together, brand new beginning, and here's the offer. Knight of Pentacles, so now here's the action. Here's the movement, here's the action coming forward with the message. The Knights are about movement, are about action. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest because he's carrying pentacles, which are heavy. So he's the slowest moving Knight. So maybe this coming together, this offer, this decision to come forward and ask and offer is a very, very long, slow process long decision, hard decision, stressful decision towards the King of Cups, towards a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a fire sign. Put the camera down here. So, okay. We'll get three more cards. We'll finish up with the tarot. And then I'll go over the bottom of the decks. One, two. Oh, there's three. Okay. Okay, so now we have strength. And this is Leo. Fire energy. And it's in reverse. Upright. It's confident. It's strength. It's courage. It's being firm, standing on your ground, fighting for what you want with determination. But in reverse, you're lacking courage, you're lacking the strength, the dignity, um, you're lacking the strength and stability and courage to come forward. The hermit, yep. So Virgo energy here. So. The Hermit talks about going in, reflecting, solitude, not taking any action, finding your inner light, finding your guidance, your intuition, the path you want to take. And that's what we had here for the very first card, deciding what path you want to take. So I feel like, I mean, you have the brand new beginning here, passion, excitement, right in the middle, dead smack in the middle, but something there's no movement either right now or for a time there was no movement no courage page of cups in reverse so this is another message in the upright it's a message coming forward a message of love and apology feelings emotions messages in reverse no messages coming through. We're not sending the message yet because you got strength in reverse and not having the strength. 
is still reflecting in hermit mode about coming forward with this message. But you have the knight coming forward with the pentacle with the offer for the brand new passionate beginning here in the middle. But you have to take the action here to make that decision to come forward with the two of wands instead of stressing over it and having anxiety towards, I think, this King of Cups, this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So I feel some of you are dealing with a water sign or a Sagittarius. Um, and this is your energy here with the Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We do have strength, which is Leo, but I'm just feeling more that's you not having the strength and courage to come forward, staying in hermit mode. Here's Virgo. So not you don't necessarily have to be dealing with those signs, but those are what are here. So I'm just seeing you need the strength, courage to find your light, come forward with your offer, with your message, with you know your stability, security towards this King of Cups. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The sun. Wow, this Leo energy again in reverse. So upright here, the sun talks about peace, harmony, joy, growth, expansion, victory, triumph, success, growth, expansion, happiness. It's the sun. What's not, what does the sun represent? Everything that is joyous and happy and positive. But in the upper, in the reverse, it still means the same, but it's just a little stagnant right now. It's not really happening right now, but it's there. It can happen. And that's just saying you need to, need to move forward here and come out of the hermit energy and get the strength and courage to move this forward to this brand new beginning. I think you just need to ask this person how they feel, what the situation is, what's going to happen. Can we move forward? bottom of the oracle deck we have serenity Let's see if i can get the glare on it there there we go the most important relationship you can have is with yourself this is a time to honor nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today so maybe some things happened between you two in the past and this is just saying to let it go. Forgiveness and peace. Um, to love yourself, forgive yourself, forgive the other person. Removing all the negative obstacles and emotions between the two of you. Just ask, talk, have a conversation. Come together, what's gonna happen? Can we have this brand new beginning? There is love with the King of Cups, this passion, excitement, growth, expansion. There can be happiness and joy and success and triumph. So I wish you the best, Capricorn. That was your reading. If you like how I read, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications so when I post new uh, readings, you will be notified. I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this resonated. If it did, let me know. I love to hear your stories. Uh, good luck to you. Many light, love, and blessings. And don't forget to shine your light.